Hello, this is National Geographic on Assignment. Right throughout the world, shamans or folk healers use plants to cure ills, and some of those plants are now used in medicine. But both the shamans and the doctors face a dilemma. Some of those plants could disappear. Zoltan Isman followed a shaman in Paraguay to search for some of those plants. Somewhere in this forest, maybe in this plant or that herb, there might be a cure for diabetes, or malaria, or even your weekly migraine. And as this plant disappears, that cure disappears along with it. The rainforests of Paraguay have long been the source of many medicinal cures. Traditional folk healers often lead the way to the plants that provide them. As a journalist, I'm on a quest to find one of Paraguay's famed healers, a shaman whose knowledge of medicinal plants equals that of a medical library. Paraguay has one of the highest deforestation rates in the world, and I hope to record the shaman's knowledge before the forest disappears. The journey begins in Paraguay's isolated Baracayu Biosphere Reserve. At the ranger station, I gain the help of the Moses Bertoni Foundation, a Paraguayan NGO which protects the reserve. After mapping out the route, we head for the indigenous community of Tecurapu, where Shaman Hervasio lives. The search through the jungle and the lowlands crosses much of the 150,000 acre reserve. After arriving in the village, we're asked to wait while Hervasio chants and prays. He needs to ask the Great Spirit if he should divulge secrets of medicinal plants with outsiders. The answer is yes, and we join Hervasio and his medicine woman wife on a walkabout. Hervasio is looking for an elusive root called suravi, used for stomach problems. Western science has also tapped the root as possibly possessing anti-cancer agents. After being dug up, Hervasio brings the root back to the village where his wife prepares it into a tea. Scientists recently based a book on Hervasio's forest knowledge. The book helps plants in the area to be easily identified and studied. Recording and analyzing Paraguayan plants for possible medical cures is urgent business. Just outside the reserve, the forest was recently logged, set afire, and reduced to cattle pastures. Trees and medicinal plants like suravi that were once thriving are now gone. And with them, the possibility to search for new medical cures. Thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Green. Tune in weekdays to see National Geographic on assignment at 7 and 11 Eastern and 4 and 8 Pacific on the National Geographic Channel.